but you gonna die. Oh lord! Oh shoot! Why can't, bro? Why can't you run up the stairs? You get shot. Okay. Go mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I might wouldn't know, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna get it. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know the intro was gonna be that long. I thought it was gonna be like a short little cinematic thing. That intro, it was way too long. I was trying to do something real nice where I like pop up after the intro and be like, blah, 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 blah. Can't do that. That was way too long. I probably had to cut some of that out, I ain't gonna lie. Why well, I might just sit there and let y'all suffer and watch that like I just suffered and watched that. Now I think over it. But as you saw, I'm gonna pause it right here. We're playing Mafia. I've never, ever in my life played Mafia, let alone, I, I don't think I've ever seen it in my life. So when I bought it, because it was on sale, because, you, you know, I don't buy things for the price. It was on sale. Mind you, not only was it on sale, 85% off for all three games, Mafia 1, 2, and 3. I've never seen this game in my life, let alone heard of it. So, you know, let's get into it. I ain't gonna waste too much time. Skip all that. Intro as long as, long, uh, as it was. I bet probably something important in that first Almost part, but I don't care. Because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts when I first met Polly and Sam. Oh, shit. Taxi here. We'll be okay. 
Move it. Come on. Oh, they don't have me drive? That's crazy. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just I cannot. Loser. What is How this? How many cars we got following? One for now. But there will be more. Oh, snap. Hold tight. I'm going to try something. Oh, Who are those guys? You wanted to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, uh, okay. The leg will pay up there. I wish I had a thrift, but probably don't need it. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call, anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Are there more of them? The Whoa. thing going on. Ah, shit. How you gonna make me drive right into it? Oh snap. I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake them off. Every car they've got is on our ass. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. We can make it. Oh boy. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. Pull over in front of that bar. Sevieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from Madonna or not? Oh, you did. <laughs> Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. Yeah, I thought she was going to get shot too. I'm sure it's more than that. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. If it scratches on your car, you swerve. Keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Hmm. Of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. Barely enough to buy a new one thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. The 
chase through the night. Whew. Boy. That, that one mission was so... I'm sorry, that chapter. I can't drive. Hopefully that's like running man. Okay. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. Yeah. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Oh, snap. You can actually move around. I have an appointment. Well, excuse me. So where to? There. St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Oh! The meaning of this. Oh, snap. Can he run? Run! Run! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Sure, you ain't got to tell me. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be thirty cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Lady, get out of my text. Sure, whatever you say. Dad, give my thirty cents. You hit a pedestrian. I'm sitting over here. I'm aiming for the old lady. I'm backing up the hook. You telling me I hit somebody else? Oh. They're going to make me drive all the way over there, over there again. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Big. Where you going? Chap. Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Oh, you ain't, said no, you ain't said nothing but a word, sir. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Okay. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? Have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything. Uh, hey, I said fast, I'm break neck. Bro, see, it's weird. Have Everybody in the weed. with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bombing. Real job is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I can get you. It's my job, sir. Pull up in front of the gallery. Spell. Here's 50 cents. I won't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. There. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. Huh. <laughs> On to the next. Talk to me. Talk to me, old man. Old chap. Oh boy, we going? you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. <laughs> Got Great any deal. Any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yeah, so 
If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Oh, is that is that the end of the cat bears? Cause good lord, so over there. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah. Dino. Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Morello. Help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. <laughs> Let's get him. I know. How do I sprint? Wait. Oh, Lord. You're going to die. Oh, Lord. Oh, shoot. Why can't, bro, why can't you run up the stairs? You get shot. Okay. I just feel like you ought to be able to like hop up and use some stairs. I don't know why you didn't. <sighs> but okay. Too good. Look at this. Yikes. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? The Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay there. See your boys around. Go, Lou. Well, maybe you ain't leaving at all. Thanks. Least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Well, maybe you're not leaving at all. back streets of little italy i love all the achievements i'm getting and i love how i continue to finish this chapter this is amazing what do they call you son thomas thomas angelo sir frank told me you ran into some trouble yes sir my cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him. Are the kind of Tommy helping us? All oh, right, let him talk. Taxi. That's your livelihood. Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. Homie said, what are we doing here? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. So smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down.
and Tommy. When you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Come on, Tom. No one else knows you here. No one else knows you here. Hey? Shane? Have I finished yet? My dawn of the Congo. Ciao, Bali. Oh, she's gonna sing. What? Okay. All right. <laughs> Who's this then? Minnie. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few tires. Hmm. Oh, I got just the thing. <laughs> oh, I got just the thing. The <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for you, I got a few cocktails here. I oh, Molotov I cocktails. Careful with them, though. Want to burn off your short ears? <laughs> this guy. Good to meet you, Tom. What a joke. Well, you know what gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. <laughs> Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. Special kind of idiot. Huh? More he gets into the cars. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. <laughs> what is foul? Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> the fuck you, Polly. You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, That's sorry, full foul. Buddy, I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Oh, don't be mad now. Tommy. Don't be mad now. Tommy Angelo. It's good to meet you. Like I said, homie called you out. Don't be mad now. Well, you bring him a stolen car and make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. Nah, don't get mad, don't Polly. Let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Ooh. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, that guy's fine. But it's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin cab. So. Okay. Is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Okay, it's close by. Doing smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, <laughs> over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? Just in case you get shot. <laughs> Everybody got a little ball. Okay.
time when I have the chance to get Oh, boy, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what I was supposed to be doing. I really didn't. I did not know what I was supposed to be doing. Good lord. Okay. So let's get to these cars. Yeah, Take teach me. Back and start swinging. Oh. What is this? I got a gun? Oh. Oh. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. You ain't gotta tell me that. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, I know that was the second one. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you report the burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. And we can take it. Smash the window. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! Now, how did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. It's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? Who wants it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. <laughs> I like asking every day questions. you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, still enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b better car with a b broken window? Bet you ain't never killed nobody. Thought he was gonna say something. They got bad beef, and I feel like Ralph Ralph gonna end up killing Paul before I do. Cause you know, at the end of every game. They're gonna kill all the people you just met. With games like this. Huh. I already know. He's still with you then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And all when right. he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules in here, so you listen and listen good. Hmm. First. No cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. 
We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Sellier. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Pauly and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. Hmm. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? I'm lost. They're loyal. That's right. No. Now you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tommy. But you'll abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. The way the city works. I feel like after that whole speech, after the whole thing, that's where I'm going to end the episode. I know it's kind of short. I only did like three or four chapters. But after that whole speech and everything, that was, that was kind of hard. And we are officially in the family. The, fa the family. <laughs> okay. The, the family. So, without that being said, this is Mafia course like every other series i'm gonna finish the series you know i've been doing a lot better finishing my series within a month not stretching them across the the uh the year like i did gta san andreas and um batman and tell -tale series and all that other stuff you know getting done so guaranteed i would try to get this out um in this month of february so that is the end of mafia if you liked the video, like the video, of course. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you so much. Subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss the day, the hour, the minute, the very second I post another video such as this one. Comment and share. Do all that great jazz. And I will see you in the next Mafia video.